Hi folks, I'm Len Brown, the director and producer of a new documentary film called Engineering Tragedy, the story about the Ashtabula train disaster of 1876. It was the worst train bridge disaster in American history where 97 people lost their lives. For some reason, it seems to have been lost in the pages of history and we want to bring it back to life. The disaster happened December 29th, right after Christmas, during a raging blizzard with 50 mile an hour winds. The weather conditions made the attempted rescue efforts very difficult due to the deep snow and a very hard to get to location, the bottom of a 70 foot gorge outside of town. As you can imagine, this will make the action part of this story a challenge to film and recreate. We have some great winter film locations such as the Ohio Village, a 19th century town located at the Ohio Historical Center in Columbus, Ohio. It will serve as a stand-in for the town of Ashtabula along with some other locations in Ashtabula and Conneaut, Ohio. We'll also be filming at the Strasburg Railroad aboard train cars similar to the luxury style rail cars of the Pacific Express No. 5 that fateful night and at the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania using historical engines and other passenger cars of the day. As a writer, I couldn't wait to begin the script for Engineering Tragedy because it has so many gripping storylines. As I researched the era of the 1870s, I discovered that railroad travel was extremely popular, yet incredibly dangerous. But of all the crashes, the Ashtabula train disaster was tragic on multiple levels. The bridge's designer, Amasa Stone, took a well-established wooden Howe truss pattern, and without consulting other engineers familiar with the technical aspects of iron bridges, used the Howe pattern for his all-iron bridge. The bridge stood for 11 years, but after it collapsed, Many engineers thought it was a complete mystery that it held together that long. The accident happened during the holiday season, so you have mostly families traveling to and from relatives. In fact, the train had a festive atmosphere in spite of the horrible weather conditions. Winters off the shores of Lake Erie, where Ashtabula, Ohio is located, are brutal. The night the accident occurred, the entire railroad line was being pummeled with blizzard strength wind and heavy blinding snow. What made the crash even more tragic was the fire that started from the overturned stoves used to heat the passenger cars. Stoves, incidentally, that didn't meet safety standards of the day. The fire chief was so overwhelmed that he never took command of the scene, forcing the firemen to sit idly by while the wreck burned from one end to the other. As in all disasters, heroes always emerge and this one was no different. The citizens of Ashtabula and several passengers were hailed as heroes as they battled both the weather and the fire to save lives. This disaster would claim two more victims in the days and years to come. The chief engineer for the railroad, Charles Collins, was murdered hours after testifying in front of the Ohio legislative jury investigating the crash. Amasa Stone, the bridge designer and former railroad president, committed suicide seven years later. The more I learned about the Ashtabula train disaster, the more I was convinced that this story must be told. We've already been blessed with one large donation from Bachman Trains out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. They donated a large scale model of the entire train, including the two engines that pulled it, the Socrates and the Columbia. Mainline Bridges in Phoenix, Arizona is helping us by building a large scale model of the Ashtabula Bridge so it can be filmed together with the train. When the filming is done, both these items will go to the Jefferson Historical Society to be put on permanent display with other props from the film. In order to complete the filming of this story, we need your help and donations. So help us bring this lost story in American history alive and get some great rewards for your efforts. There's a lot to do and you can follow the entire filming process from scouting locations to going behind the scenes by going to our website at www.engineeringtragedy.com. Thanks for your support.